Hey guys, this is a rare commentary on technology. Google just announced the Google Pixel 2, and it is really an incredible piece of technology. They implement a bunch of Google Assistant, which is their AI, lots of machine learning, and they're doing something that uh, people not into photography or not into photos beyond just taking selfies might not be aware of. There is now uh, a break, if you will, a fork in a row between traditional photography where they're using lenses and sensors and glass size to produce a beautiful looking image versus what they call computational photography where they're using computer algorithms and calculations to produce the same type of images. Now, you see that with those, uh, you know, the iPhone thing and the Samsung thing where they blur the background. Now Google is doing this but they're taking it to a whole new level and they're implementing machine learning and all of this and the other ones do it as well. But we'll see what the results are, but based on the presentations, it looks really amazing. They're also increasing the dynamic range of the images, meaning that the, the, the shadows look clear and the bright uh, skies where everything gets washed out will look clear, where you have more detail. In the end, you're just gonna get much better photos, but instead of doing it with traditional methods that you see Canon, Nikon, and Sony is trying to do in their, their dedicated cameras, Google and Apple and Samsung are trying to do it using computer algorithms. And this to me, it's akin to typewriters versus computers. It's akin to uh, vinyl spinning records versus high bit digital audio. By the way, as far as I know, the Google Pixel does 24 bit audio and Apple devices don't in terms of their audio quality. 24 bit versus 16 bit. 16 bit is CD quality sound, 24 bit is professional quality sound. 24 bit audio matches the quality of of vinyl of records in terms of sound quality, but you have to have the good speakers to hear the difference. Finally, what was really impressive about the Pixel and the reason I decided to do this video is that they've invented something that you saw in Star Trek, a universal translator. Essentially, you put the Google wireless headphones in, and I don't know if you press a button or something, but essentially somebody speaks to you in a foreign language, Google's phone using uh, its translator capabilities will translate whatever they say to you and pipe it in in English, assuming that you speak English, into your headphones. So you hear what they actually said translated, not quite instantly, but pretty bl pretty bloody close and back, for, back at them as well. So if you say something to them in English, it, Google will translate it back into whatever language they were speaking to you, you know, Italian or something. I don't know the details, but the demonstration is pretty impressive. We'll see if it actually works out that way in real life. But this is something you saw in Star Trek, literally a universal translator. It's really amazing. And uh, another thing I want to bring back, get back to the cameras, the camera capabilities that you're starting to see in these smartphones. And I think Google was the leader last year until the iPhone 8 but now Google Pixel 2 is out. I think it's going to be the leader again. It looks that way. If this is a game changer, the camera companies, I believe, are in trouble because quickly enough, uh, through computational photography, they will be able to match, in many respects, uh, the dedicated camera, uh, Canon cameras, dedicated Nikon, dedicated Sony. Not in every respect, but eventually they'll be able to pretty much match them in every respect. I don't know how many years it will be. It could be another two, three years. It could be another five years. But it's coming. It's coming. DSLR quality will be uh, found in little devices like this. And I'm shooting this on a Canon right now, ADD. All right, bye-bye.